So today we're, we're just gonna really explain how the process of multiplying decimals is really no difference than the process of multiplying integers by using our multiplication algorithm since it works with decimals too, only in a slightly different way. Again, we just line up the digits like this. And I know I don't know how to multiply this straight ahead, but I'm just gonna forget about these zero points for a little moment. I'm just gonna multiply the three and the four. Well that's just twelve. But we don't want three times four, we want zero point three times zero point four. This is, so this is not gonna be our answer, but how do we determine which is the answer? Well all you have to do is count the total number of digits that, this, that are after our decimal point. So there's one digit after the decimal point is 0 0.3, 1 and 0 0.4, 1 plus 1 is 2. So there has to be two digits after the decimal point in our answer. So we just put our decimal point here, move it over two spaces. That's so that there's two digits after the decimal point, and then we just put our leading zero, 0 0.12. Put our answer zero point one two. Now let's move on to this a little a little harder. So so instead of lining it up like this with our regular lining up our decimal points, so like this, um, one two five. Instead of doing everything like this, I'm just gonna use it as our regular old multiplication algorithm. Since here we're just we're gonna line up the decimal points, but we're not gonna do that yet. It's gonna line them up like your regular. This is not what we usually do, but it's what it's what we do in the multiplication algorithm. So just multiply these, forget about these zero points for a moment. So two times five, that's ten. Two times two is four. Add on an extra one, five. One times two is two. Seven times five is thirty-five. 2 times 7 is 14, and with some the extra 3, we get 17, and 1 times 7 is 7, we add on 1, 875, and then we just add these like our regular old integers, 0, 10, 9, add that extra 1, we get 10, 8 plus 1 is 9, 99,000, but I can't, I can't forget about our 0 0.125 times 0 0.72, not sev not 125 times 72, since this is the answer when we multiply these when it's when they're integers. So just like here, we count, we count the number of digits after the decimal points. So we just have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There has to be 5 digits after the decimal point. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Where's that? Four, put an extra leading zero, five. Our answer is zero point nine. We're so used to forget about all these zeros. Forget about these zeros. They don't contribute anything. So our answer is zero point zero nine. Uh, I don't know. You might be thinking, what happens when we have extra one digits? Well, I mean, first of all, the units digits are different. And second of all, I mean, there's one digit. It's a little confusing since here, what it was, we calculated the numbers, the digits after the zero point. But what happens to the one and zero, uh, to the um, two and one? You can't just forget about those. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to line them up, just so like usual, like here, line them up, 3.69. This time, you don't always forget just all the digits. We're gonna forget about these decimal points. We're just gonna compute 215 times 169. So we're gonna do, and then we're gonna do the same process here. So, so really all we're doing is forgetting about the decimal points. Here, it's because for the zeros that do anything, so we can forget about both of them. Get these decimal points on there, we'll just have five times nine is 45. 45, 1 times 9 is 9, add 4, we get 13, and 2, two times 9, we, we use this 2 actually in our multiplication. So 2 times 9 is 18, add on 1, get 19, 
1,945, and then 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 1 is 1, add on 3, we get 9, 2 times 6 is 12, put that 12 here, and then finally the 1, well, we don't have to multiply each one of these, 1 times 2, 15 is 215. So we just add these up, 5, 3, 9 plus 9 is 18, add on 5, 23, 13, add on the first, well, well, 3, add on not 1 and 2, 6, and then 3, 36,335. And now I just count digits after the decimal points. Here we don't care about the 2 or 1, they don't do anything. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 digits after the decimal points. So 3.6335 and we're done.